Let me tell you about the time I accidentally reached London. Well, sort of. I and my adventurous sidekick, Andrew, were conquering a parkour challenge. We were leaping, flipping, and soaring through an epic course, defying gravity at every turn. We were there like a couple of superheroes and sneakers, tackling obstacles like pros until... I got lost. In a twist of fate, my wayward steps led me straight into the hallowed halls of the University of London. Suddenly, I found myself surrounded by British accents and fancy architecture. It was like accidentally stumbling into Hogwarts, minus the robes and wands. I was standing there, completely dumbfounded, when I noticed a lecture hall beckoning me with open doors. So, naturally, I did what any lost adventurer would do, I walked right in. I scurried to the back row, my footsteps as stealthy as a ninja on a covert mission. That's when I saw him, a professor enthusiastically delivering the lecture on physics, my all-time favorite subject. And there I was, sitting at the back, ready to soak in some brainy goodness. But wait for it folks, this is where the comedy starts kicking in. Attendance register is passed down the rows towards me, oh no! I had forgotten my pen, who goes to their first class without a pen, it's like showing up to a bar without your fake ID. Legendary mistake. I lean over to the Asian guy sitting next to me and whispered, hey, buddy, any chance you have an extra pen, I seem to have misplaced mine. The professor's about to witness the epic penless catastrophe. Ah, I see we have a daring individual who ventures into the realm of education unprepared. Bravo, my friend, bravo! The professor poked fun at me, all in good humor. It turned out he was someone I had crossed paths with before, a brilliant educator who left an indelible mark on my academic journey. Just when I thought things couldn't get any crazier, the universe decided to crank up the hilarity. My friends from my previous school suddenly appeared, arm in arm with their significant others, accentuating my single status like a sore thumb. It was a sitcom-worthy scene, my friends waltzing in with their partners, while I stood there feeling like the comic relief of my own life. It was all so hilariously over the top, it felt like I had stumbled onto the set of a cheesy romantic comedy. But here's the thing kids, it wasn't real. Yep, it turns out I hadn't accidentally reached London after all. It was just one of those ridiculously vivid dreams that plays out like a sitcom episode. Life can be like that sometimes, full of unexpected twists and turns, even in our dreams.